Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. You know who's coming to Connecticut, don't you? Who? Josh Groban. Oh. And when I looked at the thermometer today, I said for Wednesday and Thursday, you need to do one thing for me. You raise me up so I can feel a bit warmer. Thank you. We're going to um, feel that way soon. Yeah, it is. It's going to get to the mid to upper 50s by Thursday, and I can't wait. Our Channel 3 early warning dual pole radar scans uh, the state. Look at it. Just carry. It's so beautiful. It is. Outside. It's just 25, though. That's the problem. Well, that's it. The clearness comes with a cost. <sighs> it does come with a little cost today. Winds out of the west, northwest at 8. You've got Old Saybrook, the camera that never disappoints, looking absolutely spectacular, as is New Haven. 25 degrees there as well. We should be doing a little bit better than this. 20 in Salisbury, 20 in uh, Putnam, 21 in Torrington, 21 in Willimantic, mid-20s everywhere else. We should be in the low to mid-30s at this point, and we're not there. And there is just a gentle breeze, 5 to 8 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> It feels like this. This is what it feels like when you're walking out the door. I got to go out for lunch. I'm going to put on my heavy winter coat because that's what is required. Temperature trend today about 30 below the freezing mark even. And then we start to drop back. Tonight's going to be another cold night. Not quite as cold as this morning. We were in the single digits pretty much across the state this morning. The temperatures tonight will be in the mid teens, a little bit lower in the northwest and northeast suburbs. You'll notice the shoreline pretty much equivalent to the inland sections of the state. Now future cast. It's a big old bowl. There's nothing on it today. There's nothing on it tomorrow. Maybe a little bit of cloud coverage during the day tomorrow. So we'll call it partly cloudy. You'll see those clouds moving in, but you'll also notice a southwesterly flow starts to kick in. And that means warmer temperatures for tomorrow and even warmer temperatures for Thursday. All right, now here's Thursday in the morning. This is 7 o'clock in the morning. We're dealing with mostly cloudy skies during the day on Thursday. Then here comes some rain. It's all rain as the temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 50s during the day on Thursday. And the overnight low Thursday night into Friday is going to be about 50 degrees. That's when we're going to achieve our highs very early in the morning on Friday. So here comes the rain. Watch it. This is a very, very late Thursday night into Friday. Friday morning. The snow stays to the north and west, and then the storm kind of wraps up by about noon, late morning, early afternoon, and it's all rain from beginning to end, which is good news. Now, I want to talk about the winds because they are going to be gusting Thursday into Friday. Thursday night into Friday, we could be seeing winds gusting in excess of 40 to 50, 52 miles an hour. This is Friday morning. I'm waiting for wind advisories to be issued. All right, daytime highs today in the upper 20s, low 30s. Your seven day forecast includes 43 tomorrow, 58 on Thursday, rain Thursday night through Friday morning, wind, and then nice for the President's Day weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, looking good and milder temperatures Sunday and Monday. Kara, back to you.